think I've been this excited to film any other video before. The questions that come in more than anything else since I started making these videos are all about sewing machines. What type of sewing machine should I buy? Where's the best place to look? What type of needle do I have to buy? What size of thread should I get? What's the best entry level machine at a low cost? My machine goes too fast, how do I make it go slower? All these things and more. But I've never had a good recommendation that I can hand out because most of the new industrial leather sewing machines come with a high price tag or they're really hard to find or they don't come with good customer support it's tough there really hasn't been a good entry-level machine so Tandy's completely solved a big problem of mine but even better they've come out with something that you guys are gonna love this thing is so much cooler than I imagined I love the size of it it's so small and compact Yet it's really heavy duty, cast iron. This little workhorse servo motor is just killing me. I don't know what it is. I'm just so excited to get this thing together and start using it. Let's do it. All right, I got it all set up. Here's the moment of truth. Slow, fast, oh man, this thing has good control. Spring loaded. On some of the harness stitchers, this uh, stitch length lever isn't spring loaded. I like that a lot. This is the brand new Craft Tool Stitch Master industrial sewing machine from Tandy. Tandy actually partnered with a company called Sailrite to produce this machine. And Sailrite just happens to be a well-known, well-loved, uh, company in the industry. Sailrite is known for making really quality stuff and when I heard that Tandy was partnering with Sailrite for this machine, I was ecstatic. This is just going to be a great all-around machine. For me, it's basically going to take the place of my Juki 1508, so any of the projects I could have done on there will now be handled with this machine. I plan on doing lots of different types of wallets, key lanyards, uh, any kind of strap work, and even some bags. For this video, I don't plan on getting too into detail with specs and maintenance and all that kind of stuff because Tandy has actually put out a little series of videos where they go into depth on uh, how to take care of it, what needles to buy, what thread to buy, um, all the specs on it, everything you could possibly need to know about this machine, they have it covered. So I mostly just wanted to uh, play around with it a little bit and give you my honest review. All right, looks like my bobbin ran out. Here's one thing I love about this machine. You can take the entire bobbin case out of the machine. And that's really helpful. I'll show you why after I wind my bobbin. I've never wound up a bobbin that fast before in my life. <laughs> And done. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. I'm gonna put the bobbin in, pull it up through that little guide, and lock it in. We're in. Done. That's easy. Oh yeah. That's like butter. I can't believe how slow you can go on this thing. And fast. Okay. That's money. Make a little uh, corner turn there. This is just practice. Not trying to be too pretty, but I also want to see how much control you can have. It feels good. It's 
try a little back stitch. One, two. Man, I really, I'm amazed at how much speed control this thing has. I'm not used to that. Beautiful. It's a good looking stitch. Tension's good. It's probably like a three or four millimeter stitch. Tension's good on the back. Hardly any marks where the presser foot was. Ooh yeah, I'm really happy with that. One of the most important things that I noticed as I was going through the experience of unboxing this and setting it up was the amount of content that they've produced to educate and uh, kind of instruct uh, everything about this machine and just sewing in general. Basically throughout all my years of troubleshooting and uh, long nights, a lot of cursing and frustrations, trying to figure out how to get a better looking stitch with leather. <laughs> has basically been all compacted into this tiny little guidebook uh, that they put together for this machine. It talks about everything you could possibly need to know and that actually goes into their video series as well. I wish so badly something like this existed when I started getting into it because I would have saved so much time. Nevertheless, it's here now. This machine is the perfect tool to uh, get you started in sewing leather and Tandy's compiled all the information you could possibly need to know about it. I really hope it doesn't sound like I'm overhyping this machine, but this is true, genuine excitement because I've completely consumed myself in this world and I've spent a lot of time trying to find a good all around machine. It's not easy to find out there. And so when this came out, it just checked off all the, the boxes of the, the main criteria that I have been looking for. And yeah, of course it's not perfect. You're never gonna have a machine that will do everything. But as I compare this one to other machines that I've had, specifically my Juki 1508, um, I've, been, I've been kind of weighing the pros and cons uh, between the two machines, especially in terms of uh, recommending a machine to somebody else. Uh, this one seems to outweigh the Juki for me. Of course it has some caveats. I might have to get used to the fact that it doesn't have an alternate presser foot lift. Uh, a lot of industrial machines have uh, a lever down here by your thigh, by your leg, that you can lift the presser foot as you're working without having to use your other hand. Um, and this one doesn't, so this is how you actuate or lift up the presser foot. But that's not really a deal breaker for me, that's just gonna take some time getting used to a different machine. And also the size of it. Uh, this could be a pro or a con for you. I like that it's so small and so it takes up a lot less space here in the shop. Um, and it, it also makes it a little more portable. So if I wanna take it to a trade show or an open market and do some demos of making the product, uh, this is a lot more doable. I can carry this on my own as opposed to all my other machines which I usually need at least two people helping me uh, carry it around and loading it into trailers and things like that. This would literally fit in the back of our car and uh, it's, it's really lightweight and compact so I love that about it. 
but the size can also be a downfall. You probably wouldn't be able to work on very big projects because you only have so much room in here. And this machine uses a different class of bobbin than my 1508 does. Not a huge difference, but they are a little bit smaller, uh, so you go through the thread a little bit faster. But again, that's not a deal breaker for me at all. The pros of this machine seem to be far outweighing any shortcomings that it has. So this machine comes with a workhorse, servo motor, and speed reducer all built into this beautiful little package. And the speed control is so much better. One of the big pros for me on this machine is the posi pin system. This pin engages the actual movement of the needle up and down. So if I remove that and I store it in this little nut at the end, now I can run the machine without the needle moving. The benefit of that is so that you can wind bobbins faster. And then when you're done, you just drop it into any one of the holes on the side until it engages, and now the needle's moving. A lot of other industrial machines don't have that, so that's a huge bonus. Sailrite's customer support is unparalleled. The price point on this machine is super reasonable. You may have heard me mention before, but my Juki, I ended up buying for about 1400, but that was used. Brand new, they're about three grand. And I haven't been given the exact pricing on this, but I know it's somewhere around the 13 to 1400 range. So anyway, overall, I am genuinely happy with this machine. That is an honest review from me. I know a few of you right now are saying, well, he has to say he likes it because he's getting paid. But I promise you, this was genuine, honest feedback. In our negotiations with Tandy, both sides were very clear. Um, I told them that I didn't feel right about endorsing something that I wouldn't personally use. And they had basically put it into the agreement that they didn't expect that from me. So, so you can be assured that whatever I review is honest, genuine feedback from me. So huge thanks to Tandy for putting all the time and work into developing a machine that I feel really good about recommending to you all. So if you've been looking to get into sewing leather, but you've been a little bit intimidated with the whole process of trying to find a machine and where to go and you know dropping big bucks, uh, don't be intimidated. This is your solution right here. It's an easy call. And you know what would be really cool? If you use the link down in the description to uh, order one of these machines. It's an affiliate link. So anything that you shop for uh, from Tandy through that link, we'll get a small commission from it. It really means the world to us when you support us in that way um, because we don't like to charge for this kind of content. These videos are free for you to watch. So when you're doing that, it supports us in a huge way and it allows us to keep making these videos. Thank you so much for hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to our videos. I'm really excited to see how many of you go order this machine. When you do, make sure you take a picture or a video of you using it, whatever, send it to me because I just thrive off that. All right, that's it. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.